Hey everyone, Lone Wolf Jedi here. Now, you kind of excuse the background noise. I don't know what's going on. So I'm, I'm basically outside watching the kids. They're riding around their scooters. And uh, somebody's listening to their TV really loud. I have no idea what they're watching. It's, and honestly, it's none of my business. So anyway, um, I'm currently doing the event. Okay. But I'm like, you know, not... What, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, do some more of uh, Olympus while I'm doing the event. So, uh, let, me, let, let me show you something real quick. Oh, I got a friend, I got a friend uh, request here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> nice name, buddy. Okay. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, uh, as much as I would love to, you know, help out a fellow, fellow master, uh, yeah. You gotta set up your your stuff better. Uh, yeah, it's both of them. Uh, well, I see. I see you have Castoria. Don't know, see on her. Hmm. Anyway, sorry. I'm getting kind of picky about the friends I, I take. Don't get me wrong. I do like helping new masters, but at the same time, it's like if you don't have your setup. Your uh, your your uh, support setup ready. I'm sorry. By level 24, you should you should definitely have your level set up. Your your uh, support set up. Anyway, um, let me show you something real quick here. Formation. Spirit origin. Oh, that's the event. Wait, is she listed in the event? Yeah. I barely had her oh, a little over a week, and she's already almost bond six. Yeah, Castoria is pretty much uh, kind of. I'm guessing she's gonna be like Musashi, like something like Zerker Musashi, and probably be my one of, if not my fastest bond ten servants. And believe me, she is really good at what she does. Oh my god, she is so good. Anyway, let's get right back into it. Let's go ahead and do Olympus real quick here. Okay. It still looks really good. Okay, we got Lancers, so I'm going to be using that usual team of mine. Okay, we're going to get those. I got some more of those for, with a shop. And you, rare pers uh, not rare prisms, pure pers prisms as, as a result. Nice. All right. <clears throat> of course, I'm going to do someone's Castoria. Buck. Uh, well, you know what? Line up. Go ahead and put this here. Wait. Line up. So, does this team line up? <clears throat> Wish I could have a plug suit. I prefer. All right. Here we go. Olympus's reception. First half. It's been two hours since not the storm border. Our comms still aren't working well, so we can't get in touch with anyone. I doubt the bounded fields are disc or disguise our disguise or generator interfering with the signal. 
so it must be magical energy in the atmosphere. I guess it means we need to head back to the border to tell everyone what we found out. What we find out, that is. First step, gathering information. Right. I just hope we can meet up with the servants who got here before us quickly. There are no hostile entities nearby. I don't see any residents of Olympus either. But going off the hypertopographical information, I was able to glean, glean right, right before we landed. We should soon arrive at the, city, at the city's western perimeter. We'll have to be careful as we make our way there, Senpai. Oh! Stay here. Stay here. That one's fine. That's fine. That one's fine. Sorry. Uh, my nephew wants to go to a different playground. I said, no, this is fine over here. It's nice to see you in good spirits, Fo. I don't think I've seen you this happy since Scandinavia. Is it all the magical energy in the atmosphere? Let me double check the readings. The atmosphere's magical energy density is still on par with Age of Gods and the Seventh Singularity. I'm not seeing any abnormalities in your vitals either, Master. It really looks to be within normal parameters. How about you, Mash? Are you doing okay? Mosh? Yes, I'm fine. The only difference is that my skin feels a little more sensitive than usual. While we're here, why don't we check to make sure our disguises are working properly, too? Activating disguise Mr. Code now. Everything looks fine. Boop, boop, boop. See, I'm thinking uh, the Mr. Codes are like, um, I don't know if any, you know, I don't know how many of you uh, have watched Doctor Who. I remember during one part of the Tenth Doctor's um, um, run when he uh, it was at the time when the Master was it when the Master took over. I think it was yeah it was it was when the Master took over, and he uh, he uh, man so whoever saw the Doctor Martha and. Uh, and um what should we call it um John Barrowman's character I can't remember his name Captain Jack Harkness okay um yeah I can't, can't how could I forget that Captain Jack one of my favorite movie characters Captain Jack Sparrow anyway uh so <clears throat> at one time he made a bit where he where the doctor made something uh, to, he had them hold different uh like copies of the TARDIS key, or something that had the TARDIS key on, you know, some part of the TARDIS key on them, because the TARDIS has what's called a perception filter, where it's like, yeah, it looks like a blue box, but you don't notice, you don't really see it. So you can you can you see it, but you don't. I'm guessing this is similar to that. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, what is it, fool? I think he's saying they work perfectly. I see. Thank you, fool. Fool. Thank you, really. Mosh? Oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking about the disguises. We still don't know what Olympians look like, so I hope they'll be enough to let us blend in. Bo bo. According to the instruction manual, these disguises kit, these disguise kits, reference current Atlantean fashion to simulate the kinds of clothes the Atlanteans pres presumably wore when they were before they were banished. Da Vinci must have figured that out. That advanced civilization like Olympus would probably be the same today as it was several thousand years ago. So suppose whether these disguises are effective or not. Will depend on how accurate her simulation is. Don't worry, Da Vinci knows what she's doing. 
That's true. The vengeance of vengeance Venge have never last down yet. All right, Senpai, let's keep going. Olympus's western perimeter should be just up ahead. Not to be a grammar nerd or grammar Nazi here. Um, I don't think this that should be that S at the end. It should be just the, just the apostrophe. Time to start our closing encounter of the third kind, the local populace of Olympus, in this fifth lost bell. Boom! Yow! That's the first time I don't think that. I don't think I've ever heard him say that. Ooh. Okay, um... Kinda looks like one of the random cities in Dragon Ball, honestly. Okay, we made it to the city. It sure looks very different from anything we've seen in any of the Lost Belt. Compared to, say, the Chinese Lost Belt, which developed along its own unique path, this one seems much more in line with what we would think of as a developed nation in proper human history. This is like a modern-day city. It does, doesn't it? I got a glimpse of it from above while we were um, making our way down here. But I still can't quite believe they've advanced this far. Oh, fool? Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was spacing out. Anyway, the local residents don't seem to be paying much attention, paying as much attention. So lots of disguises are working. As I thought, there's even more concentrated magical energy in the atmosphere here than there was in Atlantis, as much as there was in the Age of Gods. Although, good day, oh glorious Zeus! Blessed be His name. Blessed be His name. Blessed be His name. Glory to Lord Zeus for presiding over the sun in Apollo's stead. Did you sleep well last night? Of course. Thanks to, thanks be to Lord Zeus for presiding over sleep in hypnosis instead. I'm glad to see you're all doing so well. Praise be to Lady Demeter for keeping you safe. Oh yes, you said it. The ambrosia was delicious again today. I just know it'll help me be even more beautiful. It's true, you were beautiful yesterday, and you're beautiful today, too. Uh, sorry, I can't really do it. I can. I can feel Lady Aphrodite's. Ah, hold on. I can feel Lady Aphrodite's protection surrounding me. I'll have to stop by one of the branch shrines later to pray to her. Looks like the philosophers are debating something on the sidewalk. We're so fortunate to have them. Hey, wait up, Jonas. You're going too fast. Race you to the fountain. Wait for me. Hey, you want to come to the sacred library in the East District with me? The Dean Terminal. The Dean Terminal is closing the university for the day to give a lecture there. Oh, ho. it sort of seems like the Olympians are all accustomed to this atmosphere. I suppose this means this is the humanity from the age of gods. Still, all that being said. Oh, let me see how much foot traffic is there is here. Between the buildings and the roads, it usually does seem like a lost modern city from proper human history. Boom. And what's more, everyone here seems, seems so happy. They do, don't they? Yes. Boom. 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 Don't worry, Boom. I, it won't be a problem. We know we're still on a mission. We won't forget where we're from or why we're here. Besides, we have an obligation to pay close attention to how the people of this lost belt live their lives. Master, do you notice any familiar words in those conversations we overheard? You mean like Apollo and Demeter? Yes, exactly. Demeter, the goddess of the land. Aphrodite, the goddess of beauty. And I overheard a few others as well. Also, Aphrodite is the name of Umber Rose's main weapon. Umber Rose Rita, that is. I'm not sure if they were talking about the gods, or of mythology, or the people named after them. They could also be talking about divine spirits, heroic spirits, mechanical gods, like Atlantis. 
Well, there is one person I remember uh, fictional named Apollo. Apollo Creed. Or maybe there are other actual non-divine spirits growing gods here, like Zeus. Maybe there'll be gods like Apollo who are willing to help us. I hope you're right. Now that Zeus himself has attacked us, it's only natural for most of the other gods to follow his lead. But there should be still the gods like Apollo who will be accepted to the rule. Yeah. Oh, well, there's another character named Apollo I remember. Battlestar Galactica. Not the remake version, but I'm talking about the older one. <clears throat> Anyway, uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, well, there could be one of the god that might not that might <laughs> that might be against Zeus. <clears throat> and I'm talking about uh, what's his face, Hades. And if you've seen the Hercules Disney movie, you know what I mean. You folks. You last know if you sense anything dangerous, right, foe? Boom. All right, Senpai, let's start gathering information. We should be able to learn what we need by making close contact with the land, local Olympians, and talking to them. Hello. Me, Almighty Zeus's protection be with you. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm not... oh hey there. May Zeus and Hera's protection be with you, too. Say, I don't think I've seen you around here before. Right, I suppose you haven't. I only just got here from uh, the, um, countryside? I basically came from the edge of town, so I'm still not used to being around so many people. Really? I'm pretty sure this is what it was like everywhere in Olympus. Then again, I've only been to Shrine Town a few times, and it's not like I've seen everything the city has to offer. And hey, there are some less suck less urban areas than 10,000 years or so ago. It's like it makes sense that there are still some districts that like that now. So what brings you here? You just move in or something? No, nothing like that. I'm just, um, passing through. Passing through? On a trip? Anyway, I don't know how much about, I don't know much about this area, so I was hoping you might be able to fill me in. We just got here today and we're really lost. Oh, is she with you? So are you sisters or something? You don't look related, though. We're... We're, um... Popo! Oh, hello, cutie. You a squirrel? Some kind of chimera pup? No, I'm guessing not. Anyway, I won't pry. I think it's great you're traveling. And I'd be glad to tell you what you, what you want to know. This is the west side of the Interstellar Mountain City of the Olympus' 10th residential lawyer lair. Here, take a look. Doesn't the holy vessel King Cronus Crown look beautiful from this angle? Cronus Crown? This is the great shrine up inside up uh, inside up there? You'll never get such a great view of it over in the East District. That's Great Orbital Shrine Olympia de Dona, the heavenly castle of our holy gods. Glory be to Zeus. And way up there above the crystal mountains, that provides us that provides with unlimited magical energy. Oh wow. That's Atlas, the world tree. Oh my god, I'm guessing that's probably the Lost Belt's um uh Tree of Emptiness. It used to be called the Tree of Emptiness. <laughs> Right on cue, but Almighty Zeus gave it a new name. It's a miraculous tree made of Zeus's glorious light, and it was a gift from some gods of a foreign land. <coughs> Cryptors. You can see it real clearly here, right? When it blooms, you're going to we're going to hold a huge festival right in, in this district. A festival? Well, sure. After all, that tree is what's keeping us alive. After. We were cut off from proper human history. 
<laughs> I see, I see. It's not every day that we get travelers around here. The last ones I met were a young couple, a lot like you, two about, a lot like you two, about 200 years ago. Yes, that's it. You should be proud. There's nothing wrong with at all with, talk, with taking the path less traveled. I have absolute faith that the gods support us humans in all our vast diversity. Still, that being said, I don't have much I can teach. I can teach you. I'm sure, you've already learned about the crowning world tree, right? No matter where you go, Olympus's endless bounty surrounds you. It's always been that way, especially over the last few thousand years, and it always will be. So there's nowhere in all of Olympus you could go where we aren't positively spoiled by riches. Just look at all these glittering production towers. The ambrosia laid metro bestows upon us every day. Things like hunger, illness, injury, and pain are all relics of a distant past. Hmm? What's that? Yes, that's right. 200 years ago, it was practically just the other day. Uh... My job? Ha ha! Your jobs are funny. Jobs are those things people used to, do, used to have to do to earn money, right? I'm amazed to remember such an ancient concept. Are you a history boss or something? Well, I think that's wonderful. There's just something romantic about archaeology. It's just it's such a shame that the god don't like to talk about things that happened more than 10,000 or so years ago. And that there, there aren't more records of the past. You must run into the same problems of, at every university research organization. Me? Oh no, I don't go to university. I'm an artist. There's nothing that brings the gods more, more joy than the evolution of art and culture. I don't know what we would do without the gods. They watch over us, protect us, love us. Ah, glory be to Zeus. Oh yes, in my case, I study under educational terminal number three at the nearby art academy. Well, me and about 500,000 other students. <laughs> War? Yeah, I've heard that used to be a thing. You read all about the government, rec government records, libraries, and university archives. Oh wait, is your district one of those ones that, do that doesn't have any big government offices, offices or libraries? I'm amazed there are still places in Olympus, a wreck of God's glory. Anyway, sure, I can tell you what I know. A long time ago, there were four great wars called Machia. First was between Zeus's God and Cross as Titans. Second was between Zeus's gods and the White Ruin. Third was between Zeus's gods and the, and the and the Gigantes. And the fourth was Huh? The exile that took place a few thousand years ago? Yes, that was part of the fourth Machia, a traffic civil war fought between the gods themselves. The followers of the gods who lost, the poor people who did not accept the gods' protection left Olympus and descended to Atlantis. Though another theory says that they left in search of the, their far-off homeland. Either way, it's all in the past now. Humans have never waged war with one another, and they never will. Yeah, it's great here. Every day is so much fun. I played all day yesterday, and we're going to play all day today, too. Hey, what kind of animal is that? Maybe a chimera? A lion? Huh? What did you say? Is there anything we, we're scared of? Or anything that hurts us? Uh, no, I can't think of anything like that. Heck, I can't remember the last time I heard a word like pain or scary. Are you two in pain? Are you scared of something? You want to know about the gods? You can't be serious, right? Is this a trick question or something? Huh? You're from the countryside? Do you know about Lord Zeus? I see. I had no idea there were still years within Olympus but after the gods' glorious protection. Do tell where you're from later, okay? I'll let you know. I'll let them know during my regular prayer at the branch shrine. Uh... I don't know if that will be a good idea. I'm sure later Europa will take care of it once we're once we bring this to our attention. 
You do know who Lady Europa is, right? Uh, yeah, considering I pulled her while this Lost Belt was available. When this Lost Belt first came out, when her banner was available. <clears throat> I think she was in the same one as Super Orion? I'm not too sure. I think she was on the one with Super Orion or the one with um, uh, Odysseus. Because I can't remember whether it was uh, her or it was Dio Scurry that was with them. Either one. Queen Europa is, Luz is Lord Zeus's wife. She's a demigod who will assimilate with Lady Hera. So she's sure to hear your prayers. Really? Don't tell me you don't, didn't even know that. What about the branch shrines? You know, the places where we go to the, we go to the gods and hear our voices? Do you mean we don't even know about them? How the gods can hear us better than anywhere else? You poor children. That's the saddest thing I've ever had heard in my life. But don't worry. The gods watch, all, uh, watch over all of us equally. Ah, glory be to the god, glory to the, ah, uh, glory to the great gods of Olympus. Glory to the one, glory to the ones who sit atop the great shrine in possession of a Cronus crown. Lady Demeter, Lady Aphrodite, and Lord and Lady Dioscuri, Queen Europa. Almighty Zeus. Glory to our guests, the gods of foreign lands, and to Lord Zeus' sworn friend. Lord Kristaria Wotame. Not a name you want to be hearing from. Oh, ho. Kristaria. I guess that means everyone Olympus knows who Kristaria is then. Oh, my. Do watch your tongue. You can't fur Lord Zeus a sword in front without a title. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I, I just slipped out. <laughs> I don't mind so much myself. But you can end up on probation if one of the one of the guards were to hear you. Probation? You mean we'd be thrown in jail? Oh my, this is even worse than I thought. I can't imagine how under, underdeveloped the place you grew up in, in must be. You should really file a proper complaint with your local government office about this. Just be to be perfectly clear, no guard would ever do anything so barbaric as that. Lord Zeus has decreed that not a single drop of blood should ever be spilled in Olympus. Oh my, I can't believe there's even one place in the city that used language like that. I think they were meant me to, uh, it was meant for me to say the, ex the executed part. This is just beyond belief. Uh, I'm sorry, I was calling, we got reading in a, in a history book recently. I guess kind of, I kind of got history mixed up with reality. Nice recovery, Mash. Thank you, Senpai. I just wish I hadn't had to lie to her. Fo, fo, bo. Fo? Attention, my beloved Olympians. This is Queen Europa. I speak to you from above Great Orbo Shrine, Olympia Dodona. A revelation is upon us. Revelation is upon us. Oh my! Fool! Fool! Quiet! Go on, stand straight and pay attention. We have had an unscheduled bro public broadcast of a great shrine in hundreds of years. You know you're not the first person who mentioned something that happened hundreds of years ago. Do you. Yes, of course I remember. Now hush already. This is a divine revelation. Intruders from the outside area have outside have infiltrated our interstellar mountainous city of Olympus. Be careful, my beloved citizens, for the intruders are extremely dangerous. Lord Jesus sends them here among you. There are two of them. These monstrous villains are from Chaldea, from proper human history. They are destroyers of words, of worlds, who will bleed for four other lost belts. These arrogant malefactors believe themselves this world's true inhabitants and look down their nose on our Olympus. We cannot peacefully coexist with such beings, so just this once, 
You are permitted to use violence against them. You will recognize one of them, one of these loathsome Chaldean demons, by the red marks on their right hand. Uh oh. Should you find them, it is Zeus's command that you kill them. Red marks on their right hand. Chaldea? No way. Are you, are you to them? Those are probably human history. Senpai! Run for it, Mosh! Right! Hey, get back here! I love this once! Fukiao! Hey! This way, foe! Oh! Well, why are those two running off like that? Wait, are those the Chaldea demons? Ah, it's Chaldea! The Chaldea demons! It's Chaldea! Chaldea! The Chaldea demons! Eek! Get inside! Lock the doors! Hurry up! Don't let them kill you! I can't believe the demons of proper human history are here in our city! Somebody get to the branch temple! Hurry! We're not gonna make it! Help! Somebody! 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 Kill the demons! Uh-oh. Hold it! It's as far as you go. We citizens of Olympus heard everything the Revelation told us. Please, let us throw. Oh, oh. You people from Chaldea have been killing everyone in the Lost Belts, right? And now it's our turn. I, that's, I have to say, it's still hard to believe. I would have expected you two to look more evil or something. I never would have guessed you'd actually look like a couple of cute girls. Were you just trying to get us to lower our guard? I haven't done any combat training in a long time. I've never wished. I never wished. I've never wished Lord Ares were still with us more than I do right now. Ooh, Ares? Yeah, he'd be a tough opponent if, I, if he were a character in this. We may have done away with, con with concepts like jobs, labor, and professions a long time ago. Huh, sounds like Twitter. No, um, but we do have, but we do still have soldiers. I may only be a reserve guard, but that's enough to let me don the armor of the gods. Um, a magical transformation. I can't believe a normal human is able to output so much magical energy. It's almost like a servant's master. We need to distract him long enough to get away. Right, I know. For this battle, I'll consider the soldier a single servant class hostile. In which initiating Orton Axe combat mode. Setting up to maximum levels. A black shield, huh? So that's Caldea's weapon of choice. Very well then. Let's see if your shield can withstand my divine steel, you heartless, merciless demons. Mashkir like preparing to engage in combat combat with hostile entity. Hurrah! Okay, I don't know how many I'm going to be taking on, but apparently it's going to be a Lancer, so... Points at the end of each turn. Okay. Might as well raise that. Let's go for this. Oh, 
Oh, that wasn't too bad. No, it's not too much. Not too much of a. Uh, you know what? Uh, let's go ahead and do this real quick. I know I got our MP up, but I'm going to refrain from using it right now. Okay. Perfect. Okay, she can take that hit. Perfect. It's okay, it's okay, Mosh.
Okay, time to kick some ass here. This is going to be, hopefully, really painful for him. If you see my previous video, my video on her, on doing three-turn farming with, uh, with Musashi, you know I'm doing this. You know, I do this all the time. It's funny, it's like people are, I, I know people, you know, people watch me play this and they go, why does she have that little mark on her head? And I go, well, it's because apparently in the Lost Belt that she's in the, the, what's called Lost Belt, the Camelot Lost Belt or whatever it is. And there he went. Everyone there is pretty much a fairy. All right. Ha! Huh. He really is strong. And he said, and he said he'd only a reserve guard who has been training a long time. Who hasn't been training a long time. He doesn't give you a single chance to escape. And there's just sheer magical energy levels. They're on part of the servant. No. If, any, if anything, they're even higher. Master Hosso is extremely powerful. He's easily several times stronger than the Atlantis border guards. His overall combat ab abilities are the same as the heroic spirit. Maybe even higher. Sorry, Mosh. Just hanging there a little long. Stand back, Mrs. Carolite. Reinforcements? I was afraid of this. Of this. Based on what we know of the Atlantis border guards, I suspect the people of Olympus may each individually possess as much magical energy as a heroic spirit. Good old five-head Sherlock. I swear, why is it always the predictions you must want to be wrong? The turn to be so the turn to be spot on. Foo foo! Holmes, what are you doing here? Remember how the director was shooting off or sh or shouting right before you two left? That was because I had just suggested that he suggested him that I accompany you. Oh that's what he whistled when he whispered to him. That's what he was doing. Huh, interesting. Let's see if someone walks by. It's, I know it's a Disney cast because she's wearing those uh, plaid, sh well, those, the, the plaid costume. Let's see, we've fallen in your spirit form though all this time. Indeed, I have. I had hoped that was my spirit of Garnalus. I could return to the border and continue to protect Da Vinci, Captain, the, and the director. But now that my suspicions have proved correct, it seems that is no longer an option. Baritsu! Hmm? Let's take him down together, Holmes. Please follow my lead. Understood. Ha! Hmm? He blocked it. I was going to counterattack. But I should be able to defend, especially now that Holmes is backing me up. I'm surprised at you. <laughs> I've never, I never thought your attacks would be so soft. Maybe deep down you don't, you aren't really cut out for fighting. But you're still from proper human history, from Chaldea to boot. So I'll start by cutting off your arms. I'll use a defensive mystic code. Fufu! Oh, 
problems. Birds can be employed for defense as well as offense. At least it's a damn sight better than, at least it's a damn sight better than what happened in Scandinavia. Miss Kirtland, run for it. And don't look back. I'll find some way to hold them off. So you care for your allies. So then, how? How can you bring yourself to destroy lost belts? I can understand if you wish, but there would be any. But there, there would be. But would there be any point in doing so? Would you put away your sword if I did? No, I wouldn't. I waste enough time talking. I'm a soldier. All I need to do is tear that spirit order of yours to shreds. I prepare to die. He insult hero spirit without so much as a drop of divine blood. Get out of there! Holmes! We will win this. Moving forward is the only option we have left. On a long, despondent journey like this, none of us can afford to look back. Mosh Kirlite, Solaria, keep running and don't look back. Are you done prattling on now? Then die. Huh? Damn, you guys waste no time kicking things to high gear. Couldn't you have been a little more elegant about it? That voice. This is the most prosperous of all the lost belts. A city state by state ruled by real genuine gods, right? So don't try to think you should be a little more dignified in how long how you go about burying your fangs. Whoa, Sashi! Who are you? <laughs> you wish to know who I am? Soldier from the realm of gods? I am a wanderer who crossed between worlds. I let the wind take me where I wished. And now, in my death, I have become a servant. If you want to know more about who I am, then I'll gladly tell you. I'm a saber who sworn loyal to that mass who sworn loyal to that mass there. I'm a sword fighter. I am the sword fighter who's going to cut you down with two drawn blades, two hidden blades, and one secret blade. With my unique tenichi do. I have achieved mastery over the void. My true name is Shimenu Sashi no Kami Fujiwara no Harunobu. Call me Miyamoto Musaki. This is too cool. Even for me. Typical Musashi. Unfortunately, I know what happens at the end of this lost spell with her. <sighs> Alright. Next one's gonna be with probably the same guy, but uh, who knows? But that will be in the next video. Until next time, this is Lone Wolf Jedi saying thank you all for watching. Take care of yourselves. What about that said why it says Damn it, Kurikata? <laughs>